Do you want to inspire others to do great things? Setting a good example is a great first step. Welcome back, and congratulations on taking one more step towards becoming one of the great leaders of tomorrow. All leaders hope that they're inspiring others to go do great things. Today I've got three tips to help you set a great example so that you can inspire others. And stay tuned to the end, I'm going to give you a link where you can download our free Leadership Development Plan workbook. And that will help you set your goals for your career for the next 2, 5, and 10 years and build a plan of action to achieve them. When I was in the Air Force, I was always fascinated by the leaders who could inspire us to get our mission done, to take care of each other, and to go above and beyond and do great things. And these leaders weren't so inspiring just because they had great words to say or were great speakers. They were the kind of leaders who took action, and they were the kind of leaders who set a great example for everyone else around them. I have based a lot of my personal leadership style on these leaders and the example that they set for me and hope that I'm setting as good an example for others. So these three tips I've got for you today, these are the tips I remind myself every day to help me go set a good example no matter who I'm dealing with. Tip number one for setting a good example is to remember that people are always watching. No matter what we say or what we do, there's almost always someone there to observe it. Unless you live in a cave all by yourself and never interact with anyone, people are always taking a look at the things you say and the things you do, and they're deciding if you're setting an example that they want to emulate. One of the best pieces of advice I ever got was when I was a young ROTC cadet and our leaders told us, if you don't want it to show up on the front page of the New York Times, don't do it or don't say it. And I think that's still good advice today. You could probably cross out front page of the New York Times with social media, but remember there's always someone watching and they're always deciding if you're setting a good example that they want to emulate. One of the best pieces of advice I have for setting a good example and inspiring others, and I remind myself of this just about every day because it's really important to me, is that it's important to make sure that your words and actions match. People are always going to be watching to see if you do what you say you're going to do, if you follow through on the things you say, and if the things you say are important enough for you to take action on them. And it's not just about doing the things you say you're going to do, it's also about the example you set with your team. If you want to set a tolerant example, if you're always talking about tolerance and listening and respecting the view of others, but you're always interrupting people and you don't let people get their words out and you don't let people finish their thoughts, and you immediately dismiss every idea that comes from someone else, your words and actions aren't matching there. So to me, it's really important to make sure that the words and actions match and to set that good example for everyone around me for that. Finally, it's important to share your failures and mistakes as a leader if you want to set a good example for others. None of us is perfect, and we'll, we're never going to set a great example by pretending that we are perfect because people are going to see through that very quickly. So it's really important to share your mistakes and your failures and what you learned from them and how you recovered from them. This is so key to setting a good example because it'll set an example that it's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to learn from mistakes. We always learn more from our failures than we do from our successes. So if you want to set a good example, if you want to be inspiring to others, gather those stories up of those times that maybe you didn't do such a great job at something, but you learned something from it, you were covered, and were able to turn that failure into a success. So there are your three tips for setting a good example, and I hope they're helpful to go get your team to go on and do great things and that you're able to inspire your team to go above and beyond. I know these three things aren't easy, they sound like they might be simple, but they're really difficult sometimes, and they are three things that I need to remind myself every day, that people are always watching and assessing the example you're setting, that you've got to match your words with your actions, and that it's important to share failures and mistakes and show how that we can recover from those, and that'll help set a good example and inspire others. Give these three tips a try, I know it's going to be difficult, but try to remind yourself of these every day and see if that makes a difference in inspiring your team to go above and beyond. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and share it with a friend or coworker. Click on that link below in the comments section. That'll take you to a place you can download our free Leadership Development Plan workbook, and that'll help you set your goals for the next two, five, and 10 years and build a plan of action to achieve them. If you have any business or leadership questions, leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you, or email us at info at evilgeniusleadership.com. EvilGeniusLeadership.com is also where you can find out about our different training programs, whether that's group coaching, workshops, or one-on-one -on -one coaching if you're looking for a little more personalized attention to develop your own personal leadership style. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. And remember, the future is out there. Lead the way.